This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create a curved cylinder using the ZModeler brush? So to start off, first I'm going to come over here to the tool panel. I'm just going to select a cylinder object and then just drag that out. And then I'm going to change some of the initialized settings here. So I'm going to change the H divide to say 16 and put the V divide all the way down to 3. So now that I have this initialized, I'm just going to turn this into a poly mesh 3D object. And now I'm ready to start using the ZModeler brush to create a curved cylinder object. So something like a bent pipe or maybe a sink faucet. So now I just need to select the ZModeler brush. So I can navigate over here to the brush menu and locate the ZModeler brush. Or I can hit B on my keyboard, isolate by the letter Z, and then hit M to select the ZModeler brush. Now after I have this brush selected, I want to come through and say make maybe a bent cylinder that's going somewhat like this. So to do this, I'm going to use the process of bridging two holes. So right now I only have this simple cylinder here. So I'm going to first duplicate this to make a starting point and an ending point, And that will allow me to generate this curved cylinder effect between those two. So I'm going to take this mesh here, I'm going to switch to the Move Transpose line and just drag it out like so. And I'm going to hold Control and Shift, I'm going to select this middle white circle here and just drag out, and that is going to duplicate that tool there. So you can see now I have two of these cylinders living in this subtool. And now after I have this created, I just need to come through and make some holes on this model. So I'm going to hover over a poly on one of these areas and hold Spacebar to open up the Z Modeler Poly menu. I'm going to locate the delete action and I'm going to choose the target of flat island. Now if I come through and click on these flat islands here, you're going to notice it's going to delete the topology in those areas. I'm going to navigate down here to the bottom and turn on double sided as well just so you can see both the sides of those cylinders there. And now the next thing I need to do to generate the curved geometry between these two models is hover over an edge, select the bridge two holes option. I'm going to set this to spline and then just make sure I have interactive curvature on so it pretty much is keeping all the defaults. Click on one of the edges here and then click on another edge over here and I'm going to start generating geometry like so. Now when you're generating this you'll make sure you still have your pen or mouse clicked down and if you move in a horizontal fashion you're going to generate height. And then if you move in an up and down fashion, you're going to generate resolution. So you can come through and change this like so to get that curved bend shape. Now if this isn't the precise bend you're looking for, you just need to come in and change some settings. So I'm just going to undo this. And then hover over an edge again and press spacebar. And I'm going to change this to circle instead of spline. And this is going to give us a more rounded effect to our uh, cylinder here. So now I'll click that edge again and click a second edge. And now I'm going to get more of a rounded effect. And I can set the height like so. You can see you can get that rounded cylinder a shape like this. Now if this is a faucet, I just need to make sure one of these edges is longer than the other one. So I'm going to use the masking brush. So I'm just called Control, mask out the bottom of one of these edges here. I'm going to hold Control and click on the canvas to flip the mask. Now I can switch to the Move Transpose line, drag that out. And then just drag out that so it's a little bit longer on that side. And I can come through and start manipulating this further if needed. So if I want to add a little bit of a spigot design here, I can hover over one of these edges, go back into the Z Modeler brush and choose Insert, and then maybe Single Edge Loop. Add two edge loops here really quick. Then hover over another edge and select Polygroup. And now I can apply a different polygroup to that area. Then I can tap Alt to change the color of that polygroup. And now I can come back across, say, a poly, go to Q Mesh, do Polygroup Island, and then come through and taper that like so. So now I can create a pipe or a faucet pretty quick using the Z Modeler brush. So the process again was just making sure you have a starting point and an ending point, and then delete the topology in those areas to create two holes. And then using the option for that bridge two holes, which will generate geometry in that curved shape between those two areas. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!